сил интернационал неуправляемых торпед. Мы натворим немало бед. Мы будем взрываться сами, не зная когда. Может при слове нет, а может при слове да. Look down. Look down. That fragile bubble of life float on a sea of nothing. Et si on a un They are the gibbons. They are related to orangutan, chimpanzee, gorilla, and humans. And they start every morning with a duet. The male and female join in a complex duet 
Uh, they do this on a regular basis. They sing the same duet every morning of their lives. I started studying these creatures and their song because I think that uh, just like the gibbons, uh, humans have the same need to sing.
I started studying these creatures and their song, and uh, one day they inspired me to try to imitate them with a human voice to make the same loud sounds that the gibbons make. And in doing so, all hell broke loose in the gibbon cages. All the different species started singing and vocalizing and uh, running around their cages. Some of the females fled up in the rafters of the cages. And I ran around for 20 minutes singing. With the result that I became completely intoxicated. It lasted for hours. I went to a party that night. I was still just like drunk. With my scientist mind, I said, well, what has happened here is that my bloodstream has been flooded with endorphins. Why was it flooded with endorphins? Was it the loud sounds? Was it the exertion? What was it? With my scientist mind, I said, well, if we actually were singing and dancing apes, before we became talking humans. It would mean, in a sense, that singing and dancing is built into our nature. The need for it is built into our nature, is what I think uh, actually is the case. But one could uh, summarize that in a slogan. Man must dance. We are not fully human unless we sing and dance. Hutter, <laughs> But not to go in your corner, in your sitting and leaning corners, we sign because it's case ten leaning corner. Babe in the case, be a TV like I had to have a call out to an attitude of the betters and begin to get all this. Who's all you have a car, need to know what I have a tea lane cut all this for a shiat or corner. Called the sons, baby, need it out, score for so other corner yard to an chitter.
ऐसा है भैया आजकल कोई मानता नहीं है नहीं तो ऐसा है कि हाँ अच्छा है जो अच्छे सोचोगे तो अच्छे ही मिलेगा ए बुरो सोचोगे तो बुरा मिलेगा ए अच्छा है जीवन में सोचोगे कि हमको धर्म करना है ए तो धर्म ही सो अधर्म में न जाओ दादा धर्म ही सो Over here on Mother Earth, where everybody's running around, I got this and that. I call this and that. This is my God and all that. Everybody has to respect one another's religion. There is such thing as freedom of religion, freedom of worship. personality of teacher but on his message worshiping of a personality that's not the point relying not on the word only but 
meaning. Teacher is about the principle of truth. That's the teacher. We do know one thing, we don't care to cling to the life of this body until it naturally gives up. We don't care to be aborted by the body that we're wearing. We care more to abort it in proof to our Heavenly Father that we're ready to leave this place. We're ready to leave this place. May all beings have happiness and the causes of happiness. May all be free from sorrow and the causes of sorrow. Well, I hate to mention names, but there are people going around all over the world saying that I'm the biggest, one of the famous spiritual leaders, you know. When it comes back down to you, just know the human being, yeah. You know, pair of eyes, pair of ears, arms, legs. You know. If a person gets hungry and gets sick or may get diarrhea, anybody who steps on a banana peeling would fall, you know. So we need to understand who we are and where we come from. Not blind fit, but intelligent devotion. We need to understand who we are and where we come from. And so when I was there, I saw a squirrel or something. And so I was there and wanted to shoot it with the blowpipe. And I had my young gibbon on my shoulder. And so uh, suddenly my kitten makes oot. And I knew when it makes like this, it sees something, a big animal. And so I was looking, I thought there was a barking deer or, or a wild boar or something. And I look everywhere and I don't see it. And I hear again the voice of my gibbon who says oot. And so, but I don't see anything. So I look where the gibbon looks, in which direction the gibbon looks, and the gibbon looks just like this beside me on the <laughs> ground. So there was a big python just beside me <laughs> who had swallowed the wild boar. So it was really like this. <laughs> so this was the funny story. Stories that people who are bored from their life in modern societies like to hear. In the wilderness, there are plenty of wonders. You find them every day if you have open eyes. Your ears, your eyes, 
your nose. You have to open all your senses to live in the wilderness. In the wilderness. You don't do anything to get rich, you just look for your daily food. And that's it. This is always the best place to live. Look at the quality of life. To live in the wilderness, to look for a place where there is quality of life, and when you have it, that's where you stay. And I've been six years there in the wilderness. When you do mistakes, you always get the bill quite immediately afterwards. In the wilderness, and it's you who have to pay for it. And this is a big difference to modern society where we can do whatever we want and it's always others who have to pay for our mistakes. Mistakes. ตัวไอ้ตะมันเกะหุนิงามิงตานะเอตุรมงานตวนสดินประอิจฉาวอิตุนิสปาดันตระหตานะยินสาดายะลองดามิเจตุมุเลกะดายะบะลีบังอิต
Look around you, wherever you're at. What do you see? That's uh, my, uh, my bank's main office in Tokyo. And uh, Industrial Bank of Japan, and next to us, uh, Fuji Bank. And also, uh, for example, uh, the Tokyo, um, Bank of Tokyo Mitsubishi there, Toyo Trust there, and Suikon Trust. around you, wherever you're at, what do you see? Power. Your progress, you go so fast, but you don't know for what. Look around you. For what? Wherever you're at, what do you see? Energy. Square. Everything is square. Like a single. Look around you, wherever you're at. What do you see? Square. Everything is so fine, so straight, so square. Like a single. Look around you. Look down. Wherever you're at. Look down. It's a circle. That fragile bubble of life. After all, Mother Earth is Mother Earth. She's not divided.
あまり国のカルチャーとかそういうのとは関係ないんじゃないかなまあ否定はするんだけど仕事やってる上でのストレスの発散みたいな部分はやっぱりライブで出てるのかもしれない前にねあのボスは呼んだことないけれどあの同僚を呼んだことがあってで、まあ、女の子なんかも来たんですけれど彼女は僕らがやってる間中ずっとあのチューニングだと思ってたらしくてでいつ始まるのかと思ってたら終わってたとそう言ってました<笑>でボスにはあの CD とかあげたことがあるんですけどさっぱりわからないと言ってましたインターナショナルにおプラウライムタルピッドマブジョンスレワーツァサービニズナヤカガダモジェットプレスロヴィニアアモジェットプレスロヴィッダマンキーズ。To leave it to all these uh, big uh, conferences on protection of forests. Some space to have fun for the next generations to come. So see my children play. Bullshit 
best story ever in the world. They were criminals, kicked out of England, put on a ship, get your ass out of here. General, what's his name, George Custard, or whatever his name is, the clown, old yellow hat. They glorified him, he was a great general, but he massacred. He was part of the biggest massacre ever in the world. And that was the great Indian campaign of 1886, when America decided, damn it, we got to have all the land. America glorifies death. So as I watch my children play in their playgrounds, as their bass pounds, I hear the gun sounds. So this is the end of our nation. 2,000 faces us all. Write your shit on the wall. The world is thriving off violence right now. The world is on a violent point. This whole thing is crush, kill, and destroy. So many of our youth are turned out on narcotics. The promotion of selling blunts and selling crack, being a tough guy, a gangster. Now all of a sudden, you see this on the TV. These kids with these ropes and rags on, talking about they shooting blocks and drinking 40 ounces, and they're going to smoke somebody. Now all of a sudden, everybody's imitating this all over the world. Mass electro waves of violence. Mass electro waves of violence. 24 hours a day. As we watch our children play. Why is it that so many hip hop groups will sinlessly walk around here jibber jabbing their lips and bullshit? Would you pay $25 to see somebody take to the stage, call your queen a bitch, tell you he'll fuck you up, he'll sell you a rock, watch you get hyped, and you can suck his dick and he'll blow your head up? Bang, you did it. Mass electro waves of violence. 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 Into your world, into your mind, into your eyes, see no disguise, somebody telling you a lie. Yeah. Stay back, man, stay back. Don't feed me no crap. I'm having an attack, an attack on stupidity. So see my children play. <laughs> we go too slow catch up with your soul bro oh, not that 
Obviously, there's a lot of pain and suffering and sadness in the world. I think we have to try consciously to balance that out with feeling as much peace and bliss and ecstasy as we can. And that's why my motto is 
Let there be pleasure on earth and let it begin with me. What I've discovered is that most of our societies are based more on uh, pain and suffering and uh, people are more comfortable with that. That's more acceptable to be miserable and unhappy. To be truly ecstatic and blissful and happy is, is a, a rare thing. Um, it, if you're into pleasure, you're a nymphomaniac, pleasure seeker, hedonist that has negative connotations. If you're into pain, you're a martyr, a saint, a uh, hero, you know, if you kill people, you get a monument in the park. Where are the monuments for the people who have had ecstasy and bliss and incredible orgasm and that have made people so ecstatic, made people dance and play? There's no monuments for those things. I started making porn movies because uh, I'm a very creative kind of person and I found that in the sex business there was a lot of room for creativity. I liked filmmaking and I liked sexuality so I liked mixing them together. And I loved, 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 loved making porn movies when I was, you know, 18, 19, 20. It was a great time in porn, you know, it really was before AIDS and it was really truly a blast. It was fun, it was creative, it was really exciting. And I enjoyed dabbling in the acting and trying all kinds of things and working with people and I liked the surrealism of of the, you know, room full of people watching intently you having sex and you know, you could smell the sex all around and hear the sex and and, and everyone's just focused on it. It was beautiful. It was a lot of energy. And uh, at that time, it was really, really great. Then later on, later years, a lot of drugs came in and money became a bigger part of it and competition. And I think it really changed. And now with AIDS, forget about it. Let there be pleasure on earth and let it begin. I know for a fact, from my experience, that sexual energy is very powerful energy, very powerful. And it's like fire, though. You know, fire can do amazing, wonderful things. It can also be very intense and scary and heavy and dangerous, and it can kill you. And sexual energy is like that. And it can also heal you, enlighten you, um, uh, on a personal level, but I also think globally that if people were more orgasmic and more in touch with their sexuality and um, really allowed themselves more bliss and more pleasure, that it would be a more happy, pleasurable, beautiful world. Sex is enormous, it's huge, it's vast, it's like life itself. Just with the mind, you can, just by saying yes and opening the mind to ecstasy, you can going to bliss really just ecstasy and orgasm is just a few breaths away and you know if you just say yes and and remember how it feels to be in bliss and pleasure and you just you can always go back to it and the more you practice the easier it gets i find it's really quite simple you just You can just um, play with that energy. It's like, it's just right there, you know? It's like, oh. It's like that life force energy and through breathing and just saying yes and opening it to it, it's like, ah, instant bliss. It's like magic. It's like oh, better than marijuana, alcohol, <laughs> heroin, anything. I think it's nature's uh, natural drug. <laughs> Let there be pleasure.
pleasure on earth and let it begin with me. Breathe. <laughs> And somehow humans invented this trick or whatever you might call it of synchronizing group activity and the movements of each individual to a common pulse. Uh, maybe to a drum, maybe to hand clapping, maybe the original pulse was stomping on the ground. Repetitive monotonous rhythms. The monotonous, highly repetitive music. <laughs> So we are the dancing apes.
constant dance. That fragile bubble of life. It's a circle. Everything is a circle. Float on a sea of nothing. Why is everything impermanent? The reason why everything is impermanent, you know why? Because it's like that. Impermanent is the very nature of life. All is birth and death. The constant dance of birth and death. Now death, as you know, is not our favorite <laughs> subject. <laughs> Something that we don't quite want to think about, but also at the same time, we can't quite avoid it either. Particularly in the modern world, as we do not look at life and death as a whole, we become very attached to this life, and reject and deny death. As such, death becomes our ultimate fear, the last thing that we want to look at. In fact, actually, when you look into it, really, that the f if you look into the fear of death, I often realize, you see, I often tease people, if you're worried about death, I said, don't worry, I can promise you that you will all die successfully. You will all die successfully. Memento mori, which means remember dying. Because if we remember dying, 
we might remember what life is or what living is. The fear of death is connected with the fear of ourselves because death is a mirror in which the true meaning is life is reflected. When you have to face death, you have to face yourself. You have to come to terms with yourself. The best time to prepare for death is now. <laughs> now. I could die at any moment. In fact, we could die at any moment. In fact, to die is very simple, you know, I'll show you. You breathe out.